a more hardship now as well. But there weren't supposed to be any trains. As soon as I spotted the 50 mile an hour sign, I slowed down to line speed. The thing about the Cranfield course is that it's not just a normal university course, it's not academics talking to students, it's very much academics with industry talking to industry, so the sort of people that get involved in teaching will be doing the job of investigating, or they'll be a specialist in a particular area like interviewing or, or dealing with evidence. And then when we've done the lectures, we bring people outside into as close as we can get to the real thing as possible. So out to a simulated crash site, might be a rail accident, might be a marine accident, might be an aircraft accident, just get them onto an accident site and teach them with as realistic a, a, a scenario as you can possibly get. So there'll be people here as uh, witnesses, there'll be uh, physical evidence on the ground, uh, and then all the investigators can take that away and try and do some analysis, come up with some recommendations and just make it as close to a real investigation as they're ever going to get. Oh, yes. and, um, oh, terrible, terrible noise, and then I walk, carried on walking and then and well, what's oh, happened? How okay, it's that's all right. How have you hurt? It's fine. I saw the, 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 the blood here on the trolley. Today I'm playing a um, local person who lives down the other, a couple of miles down the line. I'm slightly hysterical talking about what I've seen because I was out walking this morning and um, saw the accident happen. So we start the planning um, several months before the exercise starts. Uh, one of the main things we have to do is try and uh, find all the willing volunteers and uh, actors to come in uh, to play the various roles. Generally, um, uh, most people find that a really, really good experience and it's a fantastic learning opportunity. The main driver called it in, called the accident in. Did he? Yes. Um, and he saw the police, had an interview. So he left the yard at 6.40. Which is the south signal box. Light and heavy rail transport is developing worldwide. And whilst the transport method is safe, there is a role for the accident investigator in all aspects of the operation of these railways. The accident investigator, when they've completed an investigation, will feed back this data into new designs and into changes to existing designs. Therefore, this course is ideal for any person involved in the day-to-day -day operation of the railway, the safety systems involved in these railways, and in designing and manufacturing rail systems. For 10 minutes after he passed the signal box. Well, there's a crossing, so he he there, right? This crossing is yeah, his farmhouse is over yes. here. Yeah. I'm not sure which area he is in. Yeah, he could be here this, this, this is another area. rail coming out this way. We but tried to have a good center, balance between practical and theoretical sessions, making sure that the teaching methods are appropriate for the learning objectives. We have good connections with uh, with accident investigation bodies worldwide. These contacts enable us to ensure that our course is up to date, relevant, and that the workshops and simulation exercises that we run are interesting, practical, and also realistic. <laughs>